Well, I've descended from the hill and down through some lovely tea plantations and I'm almost at the flat land of Wazuka. But as I'm doing good time, I've decided to stop and have a look at a few sites here in Wazuka. This one in particular. This is a Kofun or a burial mound. And it's the burial mound of Prince Asaka. He, Prince Asaka, was the fifth son of the Emperor Shomu, who died in 744, at the young age of just 17. He was buried here because he, he, he sort of he used to walk this path a lot that links the Heijo capital um, and the Shigaraki Palace, the Kunio capital. So we're just going to take you up through this more plantations and more tea plantations and we'll go and have a, a closer look at the burial man there's not much you can see there's, as you can see there is a concrete tory there and uh, probably a small shrine for you to make an offering to the young lad but I can see why he would sort of want to spend his eternity in this area look at that good tracks up there great tracks some gut busting ones too look steep way up there if you're coming in this area during summer bring plenty of water with you otherwise you're going to die of dehydration or Kofuns are very popular in this area, especially around the Nara region and out the back of Osaka, because this was once this area was once the capital of Japan, where the imperial family lived. Some of them are enormous. There's one in Seika City in Kyoto, uh, in the back, sorry, at the back of Osaka, that can actually be was well, actually larger than the pyramids and can be seen from outer space but to appreciate it you've got to um, you've actually got to see it from the air because down flat it just looks like a an island in the middle of a pond with a bunch of trees around it but we'll just take a little wee walk around here the young fellow won't mind me walking over his grave come up through here I mean this is not much it's just a, a loop track that gives you a chance to branch off and look at some of this lovely countryside and tea plant look at tea as far as the eye can see okay. that's where I've come down way way at the top there see uh, that plantation where I first started the descent and then it's come down over there because I remember passing that shed down through there whoa okay then let's have a let's do a nice wee 360 a wee twirl and show you more and there's something else I'll show you from this particular vantage point because I won't go up there I don't think I'm allowed to uh, to be honest now I said to this area is popular with tea now this if you come to Japan take part in one of the tea tea ceremony I mean it's not like going to a cafe where you get a pot of tea and a cup and saucer and a sugar cubes and milk this is quite a ritual, but I want to show you something over here. If I can just zoom in on the sun's... See that building at the top there? Okay, no, that's a tea, tea house. It's known as the uh, Tenkyu Cafe, or Sky Cafe. And it's where tea ceremonies are performed. Um, it was only opened in this, earlier this year. Um, it was produced with locally produced timber. Built locally and was modelled after the K 
Harakasa Tea Terrace Room in your house in Kodaiji Temple in Kyoto. And I would say you'd get quite a view from up there. Okay, just before I go, go. Oops, missing my step. That's good. Wazaka, downtown Wazaka. Now, the road up in that valley takes you through to Kasagi. Nice wee drive, nice wee bike ride through there. You might even encounter one or two monkeys on your way through. Okay.